For thousands of years, mankind has been greatly impressed by the majestic regularity of the stars moving in the skies. These sky watchers believe that all bodies of the firmament would find themselves in their original positions on the band of the zodiac at the end of a constant period. Little did they know that this time span had long existed and had been calculated by earlier civilizations. It was lost and forgotten. As it's kind of crazy to think um, how far we've really come science wise. Like our ancient ancestors really acquired a lot of knowledge on astronomy and even based on the little materials that they had and they were able to still figure out what they did was just completely astonishing. Um, I really like how there seems to be, um, they explain how there seems to be a law of nature that assures the orbits of the planet, but how kind of at the end of the day, um, we have to take everything by a grain of salt because we still don't really know what's out there a hundred percent. We're still searching and finding and the astronomers of today are figuring out new things that even us back then didn't know, but it's interesting to see and to hear how far we've come, but how far we have yet to go. And I found that very interesting. Um, this was very informative and it's, a, um, I feel like a topic that not meant too many people know about. So um, I feel like the graphics help to get the point across a lot better. Um, they help to explain the different terminologies and whatnot, so. More of an educational tool than a film. I thought that it was, um, it was extremely informative. It was very educational. And um, I, ha I didn't know a lot about, about um, some of these these concepts. And so I loved hearing about pieces of history that are older than biblical concepts and accounts. Uh, that was really interesting to me. So yeah, it really presented itself as like a history lesson and presented the viewers with a lot of information. Um, but that information was conveyed in a way that was easy to follow. Like it was able to actually retain uh, a lot of the the uh, stories or, or concepts that they were talking about. Um, and then I think that they also combined it with some really cool, beautiful visuals that helped tie what they were saying into like seeing it on a screen. I love a, a good uh, history lesson where um, everything is just really presented well and concisely. Um, it's written in a really, you know, easy to understand way. Uh, that's all, you know, also compelling. It tells the whole story, but the visuals are also really stunning. There are just a lot of great visuals, um, which will help keep, um, you know, some viewers more engaged, I guess. Uh, it's just so informative. So much is packed in there. It's, I think it would make a great educational tool, the kind of, um, you know, piece that gets, gets played in the classroom. And for history or what have you, uh, just really informative, thorough, and entertaining. Um, the the uh, short film begins with the story of ancient artifacts that were unearthed by a British excavator, and it progresses chronologically towards modern science, all while explaining these ancient astrological um, findings and knowledge and scientific calculations. Um, it describes different time periods and solar cycles and the connectivity of ancient human societies um, to the modern day. Um, the narration is very studious and stoic. The audience can tell immediately that they're going to be educated. They will learn something. Technically, I thought the editing was very impressive. There were inserts um, with actors, there were also animated relics and computer graphics and maps that all fit cohesively together to match the storyline of what was being described in the script. Human beings have a kind of fascination with space and the stars and the planets and the sky in general. I think that it's, you know, the stickers that we put on, the little glow stickers we put on our ceilings when we were young, it's, you know, I think it's just something that is, because it's just a little bit out of reach, it takes on this kind of almost mystic quality, I think. And it becomes this 
really like a beautiful magical thing almost with the stars and the planets and I think that because it is out of reach because you know 99% of us or you know however many of us will never go to space a, at least at the current state of the world that there's just this level of fascination and there's just this level of awe almost um with the planets with the the night sky with the stars and i think that that just inspires a lot of mystery and intrigue and romanticism to a certain extent and it just proves that this kind of intrigue and curiosity and you know hunger for learning about space about the stars about the planets has been present in throughout human history not just a modern concept but but a legitimate idea throughout time this documentary discusses the Coentry tablets it uses imageries to describe some history that is older than the accounts of Noah in the Bible. The VO in this documentary feels like AI, which makes you feel removed from the piece because the narration feels removed, which is usually what happens with AI. It loses that human element, that connection 